Good morning, it's 10 o'clock. Welcome to Community News and Review Live on 940 Wins, the sports animal hosted by Philip Bell. I'm Michael Wolf. On today's show, the internet is just cluttered with information, and that's being polite, on hormone replacement therapy. So what's the real story? Dr. George McDermott joins us. He's also a past professor in charge of teaching doctors and a clinical researcher in stem cells, and he's going to clear things up for us. Community news and review, you know, it's so great when we have doctors on, and the doctor finishes the segment, and he sits back down in the studio. Everybody crowds, hey, doc, it yeah. hurts when I do this. <laughs> <laughs> what should I do? Here's you know, Philip Bell. <laughs> I called my doctor, and I got up in the morning, I looked in the mirror, and I was threw up, and I called him up. I said, what's wrong? He says, I don't know, but your eyesight's perfect. <laughs> Take two yeah. aspirin and call me in the morning. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, first of all, good morning, Dr. George McDermott. Hey, doctor. Thank you very much. Good to have you. Dr. McDermott is, man, uh, I could spend... Renaissance, two, man. I I'm think telling that's you, the way to put it. I could spend two hours on your background just as an introduction, doctor. Thank you. Um, I mean, uh, first of all, let's start with, uh, let's start with uh, the... Uh, <laughs> sorry, Mark. Let's start with the college in Japan. Uh, I went to, I was an international exchange student. Uh, I was at graduate school at NYU, and um, I had a Japanese television company sponsor me, Chubity Nippon Hozo, and they brought me to Japan, mm-hmm. and uh, I went to school there. I went to Keio University uh, Hospital. Uh, that's <coughs> actually that's one of those small, little, intimate universities, right? Uh, no, not exactly. That's, uh, that is considered uh, Japanese Ivy League. Yeah. and uh, Over 60,000, uh, I understand, attend. Uh, that's only in the medical school. That, wow. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, that's all my research said. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. The, the medical school and the main campus are, are separated. They, they're not in the same place. Uh, but uh, KU University Medical School is the second oldest medical school in the world. Hmm. Very interestingly, the oldest medical school in the world is in Baghdad. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 You know, we had Dr. Gupta on uh, last last week, mm-hmm. and he's also uh, become a friend of mine because he's a big Star Trek fan and Doctor mm-hmm. Who. And All right. We're actually going to be meeting with him as well, and uh, he's going to be on uh, again. But it has to do about hormone replacement therapy. That's one of the mm-hmm. issues that I invited you to talk about because that's what right. you, you do specialize in that. And also, he is a researcher within stem cells. You had a gentleman come here to hang out at the studio last week right. who actually uh, is going through stem cell therapy. Yes, he is. David Peterson. Right. Uh, but hormone replacement therapy, what is HRP, uh, HRT? Hormone replacement therapy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for coming on, Doctor. Appreciate it. You deserve uh, that. Coming up next. Uh, but, no, I mean, really, uh, we hear about it. There's a lot of clatter and clutter of information mm-hmm. on the Internet. Very, very simply, what, very simply it is, um, well, you have two, you have men and women, okay? Women are basically involved with estrogen. Men are basically involved with testosterone. Right. Uh, when you're a 25-year-old male, you have 100% of your testosterone. That's the highest peak is when you're 25. From that point on, you start losing your testosterone. Uh, Over a period of time, it generally uh, results in a 1.5% loss per year. All right. Now, I was 25 years ago, 45 years ago. So if you multiply (laughs) 1.5% by uh, 45 years, I've lost a lot of testosterone. Matter of fact, I even brought by my lab report to show you later (laughs) on. Um, I have, um, um, my tank is empty. Okay. And that presents a lot of problems. Okay, because testosterone is very much involved with um, your energy levels, also your stamina and your strength. Also, uh, you gain weight when your testosterone goes down, and also your sex drive, your libido, uh, seems to start to uh, evaporate. Plus, there's a whole host of other things that also happen when you're testosterone poor. And one of the biggest things that a tremendous amount of research has recently been done is the relationship between testosterone and heart disease. Mm-hmm. Um, the Veterans Administration uh, did a very, very big study on 8,700 men out in Washington in conjunction with the uh, University of Washington Medical School. And they had uh, these 8,700 men who had low testosterone who were members of the Veterans Administration. And it was a five-year study. And within five years, they found out that 35% of the men died before the five years was up of heart disease. Right. Okay. Uh-huh. And basically, um, 
this is the way God basically gets rid of us is by yeah well, but, but genetically chromosomes determine our sex but hormones determine our whole physical package hormones are the communicators throughout the body right okay they tell the different organs how to work basically a hormone is a key mm -hmm. okay and it's floating around in your cardiovascular system and it goes to one of the 218 distinct different cells every cell on the um, cell wall has a keyhole okay and when the right hormone fits into the right key it opens up and then the hormone is allowed to go into the cytoplasm of the cell and tell it what to do well you're at the cutting edge advanced uh, biology if you will medicine right now now gives us i don't want to say the fountain of youth but and about turning back time but to make us feel good again to make us feel uh productive and, and of course libido is very important right Basically, uh, uh, HRT, which is human, I mean, uh, hormone replacement therapy, right. basically what it's doing, it's just filling up your tank again. And it comes in three different uh, forms. You can get pills, you can get gels, and you can get um, injections. Uh, the injections, uh, obviously, because you're putting the testosterone directly into your bloodstream, works the fastest and the best. And what it does is uh, you're just returning your hormone levels back to a younger age. Well, let me inter interrupt here because we are crunched for time. It's very important for our listeners to know, Dr. George McDermott, uh, not only do you, do you run one facility in Palm Beach, but you're also going to be opening up one here in, in Broward County. Mm -hmm. The process is when you go see you, you, you get a blood test done, right. and that is done through LabCorp. That's correct. And then within 48 hours, you have the results. And it's mm -hmm. it's nine panels, but over 58 things, 59 right. things they, they look for. Line items. Right. Line items as well. And then you determine what is the best course of action. Right. And you are run by MDs as well. Yeah. And so the, the, what is the next process after you determine, okay, let's say, Phil, you have low, low T. Well, then the thing to do is to determine how we're going to administer it, uh, basically what your monthly budget is, how much you can afford, what type. Some people don't like sticking themselves with a needle. So right. therefore, they've got to use a cream. Well, what? my wife would do that for me, but that's another <laughs> <laughs> She needles you every yeah, once in a while. Yeah, all <laughs> But no, in all, in all seriousness, um, the information that's been on different websites, it's immediate. You know, the next day you'll feel rejuvenated. But what's the truth? That's not the truth. It doesn't happen the next day. Uh, usually people that start it, it depends on the, of course, the body. Okay. It depends mm -hmm. on the age, it depends on the condition. Uh, there's a whole variable of things. Usually it takes about three weeks right? before, but then in three to four weeks, you're going to wake up one morning and you're going to feel like Superman. You're going to feel like you've erased uh, 10 or 20 years from your life. Wow. Okay. Sign um, me up. Yeah. <laughs> what, one of the, yeah, everyone's raising their hand. What's with that? Yeah, one of the, Joseph, you're only 35. Yeah, yeah. One of the uh, best, <laughs> best things is, is belly fat. OK, yeah. oh, testosterone. Uh, and I have seen this time and time uh, after one month, uh, men are losing um, five belt sizes. Wow. No, we're coming up close to the end. What's the best way to contact you? Uh, nine, five, four, seven, seven, three, six, eight, five, seven. Now, you, you gave me a lot of great information and definitely want to have you come back. Uh, in 1950, the average American died before 55, Mike, mm. or the 55th birthday. Right. And you wrote a book, and right. it, it's an inspirational book. Right. Uh, unfortunately, it's not available right now, but it will be. Yeah, which it's is life, right. life beyond fifty-five. Right. Yeah, yeah. I published ten thousand of them, and most of them are gone. Yeah, yeah. I, I have Good. to tell you, I read it many, many times. Mm -hmm. And in there, you you talk about genetic issues, stem cells, and so forth, which right. I'd love to have you come on and talk about. But talking about hormone replacement therapy, it is for who? Who should actually consider doing it? Uh, if you're, well, obviously men, uh, although testosterone is important for women, but men need it, especially if you've got a, a beer belly, if you've got a pot and, uh, you want to get rid of it and you don't want to smoke it, uh, then what you need to do is you need to come to us because we'll start to get rid of your belly button, your belly yeah. fat. Uh, will will he be guys pointing to himself? That's honey belly. By I want to get this in. Yeah, go uh, ahead. Uh, you know, I, 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 you see the TV is flooded with these commercials, and they always have to do the disclaimer about the risks with it. Are there risks with it for, for men? Yeah, basically what the doctors are trying to do is cover their butts. Okay, uh, they're looking for a malpractice because there's been a lot of controversy about hormone replacement therapy increasing cancer, mm -hmm. uh, prostate cancer prostate, and everything right. else. But I can show you a whole bunch of results where uh, hormone replacement therapy has nothing to do with the uh, prostate cancer. Matter of fact, it helps alleviate it. 
You see, it would seem to me that it would. Yeah. yeah. People I mean, that, I'm not a doctor, but it would seem to me that if it's going to rejuvenate you, it would help that, too. You people know? are being misdiagnosed, uh, men in particular, being depressed when all reality is, is a really? testosterone issue. Oh, yeah. Right. We know, yeah. I, I wanted to ask you about oh, two minutes. All right. The, the 20-second answer, then. After my heart surgery, I had right. low testosterone. Right. My doctor said I can do two things. I can get you shots, or you need to get a girlfriend. <laughs> both of them would help. Both help. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's a synergy of both of them. There you go. Dr. George, you have a great website as well. Please give out your contact information and your website. Um, my uh, contact information is 954-773-6857. And uh, my website is Academy for Health, and that's the number Academy four health. dot yeah. com. And uh, human growth hormone as well. We did not have the time to talk about yeah, we got, definitely. I uh, just again, I could do a whole hour. We're gonna do one easily. show right. with you, one show yeah. with John, one show yeah, with right. Doctor. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, sounds a, like a trifecta. It's been there a privilege. You. I appreciate you coming down. You have an open seat as well. Uh, come back uh, next week and hang out like you did the the week prior. Yes. You're a lot of fun. Okay. And uh, you're 70 years old, Doctor. You don't even look really. It. Oh yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. I figured for it real. Be like a couple of years of me. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> he practices what he preaches. Yeah. All right. Dr. George McDermott, a pleasure having you come on. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.